Happy Demon Days, everybody. It is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's another demon. Today, we're going to be doing Buoy Base by Nate's FH and Aimbotter. This is actually a Super Mario Galaxy themed level, which I think is really cool. I didn't have a Wii growing up, so I didn't play Super Mario Galaxy, but I've played a lot of the Mario games, and I love the series, so I'm pretty excited to go into this level. Anyways, let's hop right into a practice run. So I had a very weird experience uh, on Reddit the other day. I know, weird experience on Reddit. Shocking. Uh, but the other day, I was kind of logged in, and I came across this post in the Geometry Dash subreddit that was just somebody looking for my channel. <laughs> they said, I'm trying to find this GD YouTuber, and the image attached was just a MS Paint drawing of me. And honestly, that was probably the most shocking and hilarious thing ever. 10 out of 10 Androxma fan art. I hope you found my channel. Uh, if you're the one who drew this, uh, you have a career in art ahead of you. Hope you have a wonderful day. Some of the gameplay in this level is a little strange. Like, this part has this, like, water section where the arrows pointing up changes your gravity. But it's kind of, like, finicky where it starts and when you exit like this where it starts makes sense when you exit is kind of odd it's just kind of hard to get the grasp of but once you kind of understand what to do it's not really that big of a deal i'm convinced the only reason this level didn't get legendary is because it uses a nong i just love how many little gameplay things are just strewn about is that a seat wait hold on oh no wait hold on hold on swag route no your boy's got ADHD, so my interests don't really remain for a long time. So I go through a lot of phases, and right now I'm back in my anime watching phase. Dude, I've been binging anime. I got really into Jujutsu Kaisen. I am so into that show right now. I just finished season one yesterday. I'm very excited to see what season two is about. Somebody told me that season two is going to wrench my soul out. I don't know if that's true. But, uh, well, I guess we'll find out. There might be some, like, Jujutsu Kaisen fans in the, in the audience just, like, either, what the fuck is he talking about? Or, yeah, no, you are, you're fucked. You're gonna be emotionally scarred. I actually started watching it while I was on the plane, so I was just looking for something to watch, and, uh, that just fully got me back into the swing of watching anime again. I, I was like, I forgot how much I enjoy this. My first anime, uh, phase was during the pandemic, and oh my god, did that pass the time. I watched so much fucking anime during that pandemic, it was honestly kind of great because i was in school i was unemployed i would wake up do my homework and then just watch fucking anime for the rest of the day or play video games with my friends other than you know the the isolation and the loneliness uh pandemic was a great time for gaming <laughs> When I was in high school and stuff, I had friends who watched anime, and I just never saw myself as an anime viewer, because I don't really love watching shows. Like, I'll watch a show every now and then, but I'm not super big on shows. So I was like, I would, I'm would, i probably never going to watch anime. And then I watched, like, one show. Hooked. That was it. That was it. I swear, another thing I've been getting into lately is mobile games. Um, I'll just, every week, I'm, like, playing a different mobile game. I'll just go to the free-to-play section. I'll pick one game. And then I'll just play it for a week and then drop it. I remember mobile games used to be, like, pretty dope, but now they're all... They're all just kind of the same game repackaged. I swear, though, they they know how to make you spend money. The, the greatest, the greatest mobile game idea anyone came up with was making them all free and having to pay to turn off ads. Because I will tell you, every time I download a new mobile game, if the remove ads option is, like, less than $5, I'm getting it. I'm, I'm removing the ads. And games, I swear to God, mobile games used to go for, like, 99 cents with no ads. So they did it. They really figured out a way to optimize that business strategy. I've seen some ridiculous ones, though, where it's, like, $19.99, and I was like, you are really overvaluing your game. Some people dump crazy money into mobile games, though. I, I knew a guy who told me his co worker every week would download a new mobile game and just dump one to two hundred dollars into it now i was like how are you doing that how are you paying rent i am not one to talk though because i have dumped an egregious amount of money into pokemon go and you guys are probably like ah he's just over exaggerating it's not that egregious amount uh last time i checked how much money i'd spent on that app i went into my google play purchase history and i just kind of went down the page and added it all up. I was at about $3,000. I believe that was about four, three or four years ago. So, I mean, it's only gotten worse now. I haven't stopped playing Pokemon Go, you know, so I can judge people all I want. But at the end of the day, I am just as bad, if not worse. Pokemon Go really helps me get outside and walk around, though. So at the end of the day, I see it as an investment into my health. I am doing this because I want to be a healthy, strong man. Not because I want a 100% IV shiny Mewtwo. No, no, no. That's not the reason. I've actually been working on a new video lately. I see a lot of those videos that other Geometry Dash YouTubers do, like the tag and the hide and seek and stuff. And that's all cool. You know, I feel like there's already enough people doing it, though. It's 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 gotten pretty saturated. I do think it's a creative idea, though, and they're very fun to watch. So I wanted to do something similar to those videos, but I didn't want to do something that had already been done. So I kind of did some thinking, and I came up with an idea. 
and then I did some research, and I couldn't really find anybody else who had already done this. So, uh, yeah, I settled on Squid Game. So I have been slowly and steadily rebuilding Squid Game in Geometry Dash, and uh, I'm going to eventually get a group of people together, and we're gonna fucking play Squid Game. So here's kind of what we're working with so far. This part's not done, but this is kind of the lobby area. There's gonna be eight players, so as you can see, we got the eight beds. You can kind of sit on all of them and jump up onto them. Here we are in game one. We've got red light, green light. Um, this is kind of cool because it's pretty 3D. I wasn't actually expecting to go this route, but then I kind of made this little entrance area, and I was like, well, I gotta do it now. So this is sort of like a track that you would see at like a track and field event. Um, so, you know, you can go here, you can run on this one, you can go up to the next row, you can run on this one, and so on and so forth. They're just passable blocks. Uh, I accidentally made it so that you can step on these. I probably shouldn't have done that, but it's okay. So here we are in the playground for that honeycomb cutting game. Down at the bottom there are four doors, each one leads to a different shape. Um, I'm going to black out the camera now because I don't want any competitors seeing which door is which. But essentially it's gonna look like this, there's a spot where you go in from, uh, you have to fly right through the center of, uh, this guy. It's actually decently difficult, uh, and actually I'm doing pretty well, so I honestly might buff it. But yeah, that's what I got for the Squid Game video so far, and honestly, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Before I make that video, though, I have to get Geode back and get Globe back. I know I could roll back my update to 2.204, uh, instead of being on 2.206, but, I mean... I'm not in that much of a rush, it's not even done yet, so if I finish it up and I'm ready to film before Geode comes back up, then I'll roll back the update. Until then, I'm not super anxious to roll back the update. Oh, what just happened there? Dude! I feel like I keep dying at 69 in these. I die at 69 so frequently. Can we all agree at this point that creators are just putting very difficult choke points at 69% for the culture? I just saved the death there because you're not supposed to land there. But you can jump, which is really nice. I'm definitely just killed myself for no reason 1% later. <laughs> No! Oh my god, dude! I thought we had that in the bag for a second. Oh, that sucks! Let's go! Oh my god, dude. Oh, I was getting really frustrated there. <laughs> oh, let's actually try this new feature. That's so cool. This is actually a fantastic feature for a level like this, the new uh, view level complete screen. This is so cool. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this episode of Demon Days. I may have gotten... I got a little more frustrated than I should have gotten, but that robot part was just really getting to me, man. I was... Oof. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and as always, I will see you next week.